Many of us are probably guilty of throwing old flash drives or even computers in the trash. But even when you think you've taken measures to delete your personal information, News 5 investigates discovered it can be easily restored. Investigative reporter Patrick Nelson live in studio now with the simple steps that we can take to protect our personal information. Elizabeth and Rob, flash drives like this may be small, but they can store large amounts of data like pictures, documents, and other personal information. Cybersecurity experts say simply deleting files off of these drives before throwing them away or selling them isn't enough. As we found out, all of that information can be recovered in a matter of seconds. For this experiment, we bought five used flash drives on eBay from a seller in Aurora. We immediately turned the flash drives over to the experts at the National Cybersecurity Center. I took the five USB drives that you gave me and I wanted to investigate to see if there was anything on there. Working with cybersecurity guru Thomas Russell, we analyzed each flash drive. Alexia is going to take one of the thumb drives that you gave us and she's going to uh, examine it to see if there's anything on there. The folder is empty and that, this is what most people see when they open up a thumb drive thinking that there's absolutely nothing in there. The seller attempted to delete files, but using a free program that anyone at home can download, our cybersecurity experts were able to recover hundreds of files from four of the five flash drives in just seconds. If I was a cyber criminal, I would get a ton of those things. They, they're cheap, they're almost free, and I would spend all day just going through every single one of those thumb drives, and I guarantee that that hacker will strike gold eventually because people do not um, erase the information. We recovered photos, videos, human resources documents, names and phone numbers. It's all information cyber criminals can use to their advantage. Right away they have enough information that can make them somewhat credible, right? And that's what a lot of these crooks want in the first place is to get you to believe that they're credible in what they're right. calling you for, right? And, uh, absolutely, and, and, and also they can send an email out to all those employees and make it look good, make it come from uh, one of their own employees. And you, you, would, you, you would never know sometimes. Russell says there are ways to completely wipe files from your flash drives and hard drives, but people rarely take the extra step. It's not erased until someone actually overwrites them or use some special programming, some special applications to delete them. So what should we do with our file storage devices? People should keep the thumb drives they have, destroy them their, themselves if, if they're not going to use them, or if they're going to use them over and over again, to format them, uh, format them fully, and that way they can ensure that there's no uh, leftover files. And cybersecurity experts say you should never toss old computers or flash drives in the garbage. Any kind of um, thing that stores uh, information, I would never throw it away because somebody can retrieve it. And, you know, we have the uh, term called dumpster diving. It's literally, that's what people do. They, they go into garbage to take out things and, and uh, if they find a, a thumb drive that somebody threw away, that's like a gold mine to a hacker. The experts say ultimately, if you don't want to take any chances, destroying the technology is a surefire way to make sure no one will be able to access your device or information. And it's important to keep in mind, it cost me just $30 to buy these used flash drives online, which contained all of that information we just showed you. And cyber experts are encouraging businesses to do more training to keep our information safe. Now, our goal is to help you stay a step ahead of cyber criminals and fraudsters. We encourage you to head to our website, koaa.com. I've already posted some resources along with an extended interview on what you can do to keep your data safe. So you can check all that out again, koaa.com. Always watching out for you. Patrick Nelson, News 5 Investigates.